Ryan James. In this video, I'm explaining why you don't want to be a nice guy and you want to present yourself as being the bad boy. I'm sure you've heard this before. Nice guys finish last. And that's a saying that's existed for a long time. And there's a reason. It's because when you present yourself as being the nice guy, the sensitive guy, the emotional guy, you are literally digging yourself a hole. And women, when they see you and you're trying to be nice to them, cater to their emotions, their needs, they see you demonstrating female traits. And they do not see you as a strong man who in return can be a provider for them and protect them. So why, why Ryan, why is it good to present yourself as being the bad boy? And I'm not saying, I am not telling you to become a bad person. I am not saying that. What I'm saying is it is very beneficial and to your advantage to present yourself in a way that creates an image of you being the bad boy. So you want to show traits that a bad boy would have. And these are like the top traits I would say that are easy to implement and to demonstrate. One, you break rules. You don't care about offending other people. You do not care about filtering your thoughts so they align with the society normal, okay? You wanna be able, if you're confident and you understand what you're speaking about, two keys, confidence and understanding, speak about the things you know and speak about them, not worry that you're gonna offend somebody, that you're gonna hurt somebody else's feelings. Mm. The another thing you wanna do is present yourself as being dangerous. And to simplify that, and strip it down a little bit, you want to never show fear. And you want to let the women in your life, the women that you're pursuing, know that you are okay with taking risks and doing things that maybe other people would be too scared to do. And this is very simple. If you're someone who can do like extreme sports or something, you're already living that lifestyle. And there's a lot of other things that you could easily do, like even just showing that you're willing to take risk with your investments and your money shows that you are able to take risk full on. And I've just used the, the word risk like three times or so. So I'm gonna just make a subcategory here in this video and talk about risk versus reward. It's very important to understand what risk versus reward is. And if you can understand it, you'll be able to see how easy it is to implement it in all different categories of your life and you'll have much greater results because you understand that for every risk there can be a reward and the greater the risk and the less of the reward it's not worth it but the least the less risk and the greater reward that's worth uh, looking into that's lo worth looking into so maybe I'll make another video just talking about risk risk versus reward so when you sh demonstrate to women that you're okay and you're comfortable and maybe you enjoy and get excited by taking risks, she sees that you are somebody who is confident, intelligent, and strong. All beneficial. And you should want those things, not just to let women see you and perceive you as that. You want to become somebody who's comfortable taking risks makes sense so what's other things you can do to present yourself as a bad boy so we got breaking rules presenting yourself in a dangerous matter in the sense of embracing risk and another one would be doing what you want when you want lead with confidence so if you have plans and she was telling you like oh I want to really go to this restaurant that I saw on some social media don't agree to it and tell her you know somewhere better and that you'd rather take her to a place that you like going and she might 
be a little emotional about this, but like, don't get yourself in a position where you're agreeing to do something that is her choice of what she wants to do. Because you want to demonstrate that you use your time the way you want your time to be used. That you're not just along for the ride with some girl that you that you want to impress by following her around. She's not going to be attracted to that. She's not. And she will be attracted to someone who says, hey, no, babe, I don't want to do that. I got a better idea. Okay, I'm going to take you to this place. I like the, I like the specific thing that you like there, but it's like, I like the burgers. I like something. I like the pizza there. I like the view. I like the staff. I like the drinks. Just whatever it is. Throw it down. Throw it down. And then be like, and I think uh, you'll find something on the menu that you'll like to, you know? And if she tries to make you justify and explain yourself, don't do that. A bad boy isn't going to go around and explain to women why he's doing the things he wants to do. It's never going to happen. And let's go back to the topic of being a nice guy. Nice guys finish last. Nice guys finish last. You've heard that your whole life. And it's a, it's a negative thing to really embrace because it's like, hey, if I try to compliment people, I try to show positive emotions when I'm out and about and conducting myself, yeah, you pay a price for that. And the, pri the, the price you pay is that people will treat you with less respect. Here's an example. I'm seeing this girl who's got uh, very, very strict uh, parents. Um, and um, she wanted me to meet her folks because we've been uh, seeing each other for a little while now. And she warned me, she's like, hey, my dad's old and he is old, he's old. And I, um, they already had a preconceived notion and thoughts of me without getting to know me. And so I went in there knowing that I had an uphill battle, uphill battle. And then uh, like right before I left my place to go there, I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring a bunch of uh, drinks with me, beer, and uh, I'm going to just bring my music and I'm going to bring some uh, videos that I could uh, throw on in case I get really bored. And then when I was on in the car on the way there, I was just like, you know what? I put this all in a backpack, but there's no, there's no point for that. I'm just going to, as soon as I get there, start doing whatever I feel feel like and if they have a problem with it they'll let me know and I'll see how I handle it then and I didn't really worry at all in any way shape or form I had no worry because I was like they're going to respect me because I'm just a guy who's doing whatever he wants when he wants and there's a gray zone here a line to be walked with what I'm saying is you can do whatever you want, whenever you want, but don't do it at somebody else's expense. If what you want to do is going to make someone else feel like less, don't do it. Find out another way to do it where you're not sacrificing someone else's best intentions and their well purpose, their well being for uh, doing what you want to do. And maybe you shouldn't be wanting to do what you want to do if it's going to hurt somebody else or have a negative effect on someone else. And yeah, so I went there and I just was like, oh yeah, hi, hi, talked, introduced, had a little friendly conversation and then I was like, I just cracked a beer and open. And I, I will state this for this channel and for everyone watching this, I don't drink often. I don't. And I wasn't drinking as like liquid confidence to give me courage to be around these people. I just knew that I was going to be there for quite a bit of time and that I wanted to enjoy my time. And also, I had been given some um, new beers that I had never tried this brand before. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try them out, try something new. And I'm not trying to advertise drinking beer. What I'm advertising is doing what you want, when you want, and not worrying about conforming to people much different and much older than you, expectations of how they think you should present yourself. Be real, be who yourself, and be authentic. And just by simply doing what you know you are capable of doing, you will start to present yourself as a guy who walks his own path, who stays on his own path and doesn't let people 
deviate him and like take him off path and change his direction because he's worried about validating their dumb emotions. Don't worry about validating other people's emotions. Because even to do that, you have to use your own emotions and be like, well, if I was them and I felt like this, would I want somebody? Just remove it. Get rid of it. Cut it out. So why do nice guys get the short end of the stick? Why do things not work out for them? And I touched on this at the beginning, which is at the beginning when um, I said that when you are a man, a male, who demonstrates that you care about emotion a lot and that you're always trying to word things in a way where people feel comfortable, you're beginning to act more like a female than a man. And that doesn't mean that men are, have no ability to gauge what's the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do. That's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that when you worry about making other people feel comfortable, and like if, you, if you're a guy, and if this touches home for you, and this seems like something that maybe you suffer with, you need to stop what I'm about to say. You need to stop, which is if you see a female and the tone of your voice goes higher, watch more videos on this channel. You need to stop that now. And at the same time, if you want to present yourself as being the bad boy and not the nice guy, speak slower, speak with a sense of confidence, lower your voice and pronunciate your words. Do not be in a rush to try to tell people things as fast as you can. You don't want to try to tell everybody everything that you want to say as quick as you can because it seems like you're worried that people don't even want to hear what you have to say and if you have important things to say people want to hear them and they want to understand them so make it simpler for them to understand by speaking slower and in return you demonstrate confidence and you begin to present yourself as somebody who isn't worried that people aren't going to listen to them. If you have important things to say and you're important yourself, people will stop what they're doing, they will make additional time for you just to hear what you have to say. Also, for being uh, presenting yourself with a bad boy lifestyle, and this does not mean becoming a criminal, not, not telling you to do that, specifically telling you not to do that, but something else that can be beneficial is how you dress, accessories that you wear, like belts. And I'm, I'm not saying dress like it's the 90s and you're jumping into hip hop for the first time. Not saying that. What I'm saying is wear dark colors, wear black, wear dark grays, even like a white undershirt with a dark jacket can really give a good persona for yourself and create the persona that you are confident and that you know how to dress, not like a weak male who shows female traits. Like, call it what you want, simp, beta, call it what you want, but you don't want to ever look like that. You don't want people to judge you based off the way you look and think, oh, this guy isn't a masculine man. You don't ever want that. And other things I say, accessories, wear watches, wear sunglasses, wear a belt. Um, depending on your location, the more accessories you have available is gonna be based off temperature. You know, if it's colder it is, you can wear scarves, you can wear gloves, you know. Don't need to explain this here. Okay, so if you like content like this, take this video, like it. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified when we drop important, valuable videos like the one you're watching right now. Take this video and share it, guys. We want to get this out there. We want people to understand this stuff. Other men have no problem telling other men things that are beneficial and valuable because they know that they're not doing it at an expense of their own well-being because they're, they're competent and they're confident 
and they're going to have no problem continuing to succeed. You have a comment, you have an opinion, you have an opinion, turn your opinion into a comment. Share it below. If there's other things you think should have been mentioned in this video, things that are beneficial for adapting the, the bad boy lifestyle look and things that are really dis, at your disadvantage for being a nice guy, if you got videos of where you got friend zoned from, for being the nice guy, share them below. Take your comments, share them below. It's how we talk. I read them all. Until next time, I'm Ryan James. Boom.